Hello PVC, I just want to say I miss you so much, I love you so much and hopefully we can get together soon but you know I'm glad to be here and speak to you today and I also want to thank all the staff and the faculty you know they're doing their best, they're doing their all for us in this season of change so I just want to thank you guys and wow guys I don't know about you but I've been very blessed by all the senior sermons so guys good job I just want to say that as you can tell I'm outside today and we have the beautiful Columbia River behind me and if you look over there we have beautiful trees and actually if you go this way I can see the Mount, Mount Hood here so today we're in a beautiful nature and the reason why I chose this place is because actually today in the message that I want to tell you is include it includes the nature and today I want to talk about seasons and let's just dive in and if you want to open your Bible I'm gonna be talking from Genesis chapter 8 verse 22 so this is what the Bible says as long as the earth endures seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night will never cease so let's just pray before everything God thank you so much for this beautiful day first of all thank you that you you're still with us there's a lot of craziness happening this moment but thank you there st you are still with us thank you there is still faithful and I pray God right now that you just open our hearts God to listen to what you have to say today and use my life God and I want to make you the center of this message so be with us in Jesus name amen okay first of all this um, verse that I chose is actually right after um, Noah got, a, got off the, the ark and this is the first promise that God gives to humanity that he gives to Noah and you know as we can tell we are in the middle of the season change and you know we're coming out of the winter and we're about to go to summer but you know right now I'm like wearing t-shirt and I'm enjoying the sunshine but when it comes to the nighttime I still shut my windows because it's too cold in the nighttime. So, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm very picky when it comes to sleep. And um, I like my, my room to be slightly cold, but not too cold because, you know, like I don't want to be bothered with my breathing. I don't know if you understand me, but, and also like I need my blanket that's one thing that I always need when I go to sleep and my mom always told me why don't you just use a towel or something that is so thin you know then you don't need to uh, be so hot in the middle of the night and I'm like mom you don't understand I need my blanket when I I sleep but you know like as I told you right now we need to understand the the season we're in you know we're not winter it's not summer yet but in the PBC life I also want to tell you that there's always seasons and there's always transitions to new seasons so I want to uh, talk to you guys about that because I know when I I went to PBC and you know I haven't graduated yet but I know my PBC life I had a lot of different seasons and for me to be able to succeed in all those uh, seasons, God gave me a lesson and I hopefully, hopefully I can share with you that today. And first of all, I, I, I want to tell you that it's really important to understand the season that you were in. Sometimes we don't know the season, so we, we don't know how to act in that season, but the first thing you need to understand when you're in PVC is that you need to ask God in what season you were in. And I remember when I was a um, freshman, I, I put in my heart that I would always ask God uh, in what season I was in. So in the beginning of the semester, I prayed, God, 
you know, I, I need you to tell me what kind of season I'm getting into and what is that you need to work on my life. And I remember God actually answering me and the answer, the answer was, you need to work on your trust issues. Kenji, you still, you still don't trust people enough. And when I heard that, I was like, God, I agree. I need that for my life. So I started to be very intentional with my friendship and I started to be more vulnerable. So I started to open my heart and I let people into my heart. So, you know, I asked God and he actually answered me. And when I was in sophomore and junior, I asked God the same question in the beginning of the semester. And guess what? He got answered me and he said, you need to work on your fears. You need to get out, get out of that depression that you are in right now. And I was like, okay, God, I want to do that. And I started to, to deal with my fears. I started to face my uh, fears in depression. And I started to actually get delivered from my, my fears. And, you know, that really brought me growth. That really gave me a, a new person. I started to become someone different. But for that to, to happen, I had to ask God and I had to understand the season that I was in. And after I understood the season I was in, I had to ask God, God, give me strength, give me wisdom, because I need, I need strength. I cannot do this by myself. I cannot do with my own arms and my own strength. Because you know, when, when hardship comes, when the, the, the situation gets hard, we know that because we are humans, we cannot do everything by our own strength. So we need God's strength. So we, we have a God that we can ask for that. And He actually helps us. And after I, I asked for strength and wisdom, I realized that I needed to position my heart in, in a very um, tender way because I said, God, I'm going to submit to this process. I'm not going to run away, even though I want to. And, you know, it's hard and it's uncomfortable. But I decide to let you work in my life. So I told God, you know, I need you. And I need you. And I also, dis I make a decision right now to submit. And when you do that, you help God. And because if you're always battling with God and you're always battling with the Holy Spirit, you are all just making the process longer. And that's just uh, keeping you to have growth and keeping you to learn everything that God wants you to learn this season. So, you know, I, I want to tell you today that when you go through PBC, make sure that you, you know the season that you are in. And for you to be able to know the season that you are in your life, you need to ask God and you need to pray. And also, you need to ask God for the strength that you need because you cannot do by yourself. You cannot do by your own humanity. And also, the most important thing, set your heart in the right place. Make sure you submit to the process that God has for you because God has amazing growth. God has amazing lesson to teach you like He did in my life. So I want to pray for you. I want to encourage you today. God, thank you so much. Thank you so much that you are about to give us tremendous uh, growth and you're going to bring awesome lessons that someday we're going to be able to share with other people. So God, I just pray today that you help us understand the season that we're in right now. Even right now, God, with all this coronavirus thing, God, sometimes it's hard, God, to understand what is it that we are facing, God. It's hard to understand what you're calling us to do and calling us to become. But Lord, I, I pray that everybody in PBC, we understand the, the, 
seasons that they're uh, facing. And I pray that they will be humble enough to ask for your strength, God. I pray that they, they will submit to the process and not run away, God. But I pray, God, that they will work as, alo alongside you and take this victory with you, God. In Jesus' name, I pray for blessing and more growth over each one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm very appreciative. And I just once again want to tell you that I love you and I miss you. But that's it. Let's be um, excited for the next sermon. Bye.